five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Paul here, realestatepodcastshow.com, doing the first of many, many of these to happen. This is the Saturday Soul Stories. This is for the week of September 3rd to September 10th. So the A, so basically I'll take one Friday to the next, and then I'll do my analysis on the Saturday. Same thing goes to each of you who have, who receive these in the morning, way before it's ever talked about. Uh, and of course, I don't go into specifics on the podcast. It wouldn't make sense. So um, anytime you're signed up with me, you have the option of having these sent to you every Friday along with my data and detailed analysis and the stories behind the souls near you. And I've always said this, that you only need to really know the top five souls near you, um, especially if you're in the process of selling soon. To make the mistake and be avoiding it or not paying attention to it could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars by not being fully prepared for the market and knowing that there's possibly, uh, you know, more than 10 or 15 or 20 buyers still out there um, very serious about bidding and you aren't fully aware of that when you're selling, um, it really makes sense to, again, do your homework get signed up with me. And it's really easy to do. You head over to realestatepodcastshow.com. Right on the front page, um, you can find out exactly what your uh, potential selling price could be. And uh, from there, I will go into, again, all the details necessary to make sure that you are properly informed. Uh, Again, and just know everything that you're supposed to know. So today I'm going to be covering the Toronto area sold stories for this week. And there was a total of 168 of them uh, as per the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board stats. So I'll break it down into what the different numbers are. So for the... um, for the uh, for the number of them that we had that were um, in the uh, in the different price ranges, we had 31 that were under a million, 115 that were over a million, five that were over two million, 10 that were three million plus, and then a couple on top of that that were in the five million range. So yes. Those properties uh, do exist out there. So right from 1 million to 5 million. So I've covered all of those. Um, 15 total sold over asking. And that's a really important statistic to know. Um, And for me to break those down into the certain areas is really where the, um, the fun starts with this to really understand where these houses are selling, some of them selling for as much as or close to 500,000 over asking. Now, the the debate the debate that I have with people and this is not a, a an angry debate but this is just a, a discussion we have uh, is about if a property is being sold for that much over asking was the asking price actually correct or was it possibly too low to begin with so if you are doing the data analysis on a certain area and you know that there's a lot of demand you've been keeping up with your you know saturday sold reports from me uh, you review them with me in the morning so you know what kind of demands going on you'll be able to tell that the people who are in that area even though they're looking at a million they might be willing to spend 1.5 and this is actually happening now some other stuff that's going on and and of course this is part of why this is so important there are certain pockets there are certain sort of hot zones around the Toronto area and you might be living in one of those hot zones and you might not know it because you might not get any sort of a notification by email you might not be getting any postcards about this so you wouldn't be able to see the patterns that I'm seeing so you will definitely want to talk to me if you are in the Scarborough area And yes, I said Scarborough area. You definitely want to talk to me about what is going on in certain pockets of Scarborough. There is some incredible amount of heat. Um, 
having grown up in Scarborough, I was born in Scarborough, grew up there. I've since moved to the East York area, uh, but I know it like the back of my hand. I spent my first 20 years of life there. Uh, I've probably been into thousands of houses of the 12,000 houses that I've been in. Probably some of them belong to you. Sometimes when you live there, maybe sometimes before you moved in, but I've been in a lot of houses and a lot of them, uh, even before I started real estate, of course, um, friends, family, parties, um, you know, neighbors, all that stuff. So make sure that we're talking about that. And make sure that you are talking to me about, again, what your soul story should look like. Because again, just because you'll see those sold over asking signs, do not make the mistake of assuming that is the way to go. There is, there's always going to be two ways of pricing. There's always going to be traditional and there's also going to be the auction style. Now, whether or not you agree with it is irrelevant because I don't feel that it is um, necessarily something that demands an opinion, especially when you're selling. You don't really need to like it or not. You need to know what is working in your area. I personally had my own challenges with the process itself, um, and, and I and I wish it would be more transparent in a lot of ways, but. Right now, all we can go by, especially when, 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 you know, when I do this for a living, which I do, uh, my job is to report to you what is, the, is what is working the best in your area and what are people really willing to pay for a property? Because part of the, the, um, the, the system that I use is I don't even put my properties to market until at least five and hopefully 10 people have inquired about the property have asked some questions about it uh, and they are on some level a hot lead that's a really important feature for me and this is all part of my um, grand opening um, process that i that i do which is a 14 to 21 day process it's nothing that happens overnight uh, and it's the reason why my most recent scarborough sale was the top street sold on that street and it remains to this day, the top sold price on that street. And this is the reason why, because I do this kind of homework, I do this kind of work before we ever put the property, you know, out to market, meaning that it's, you know, open for visits and everything else. Until then, uh, there's a lot of research. Do you think Star Wars gets written on Monday and comes out on Friday? Hell no. Uh, it takes about three or four years, maybe longer for, for them to come out with those stories, but they they certainly do a great job of building it up. Look at the, uh, the new Sopranos movie coming out. There's been just sort of like, you know, drips of information that come out um, until it actually makes its release. That's just the way it works in the big, in, in, in the Hollywood world. And it shouldn't be that much different for your property if you do want it on the biggest podcast stage, that is. So for the top result for real estate podcast show uh you're listening to it it's my show real estate podcast show.com um and making sure that your soul story is included in these saturday soul stories is really important to me uh and i want to make sure that you're also part of my featured property so you can sign up for those as well on my front page real estate podcast show.com thank you all for listening as always and enjoy the rest of your week